A big news drop for Halo MCC talking about the flighting coming for the MCC, custom game browser, new map coming from Halo Online into Halo 3, and so much more. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you another news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these kind of videos, make sure to tap that like button. Let's me know you want to see some more content like this. If you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as we ramp up the Halo Infinite, make sure you tap subscribe. Let's get right into the content here. So I already had a video planned out for today and then 343, like last minute of the day, had to completely invalidate the entire video with this news information dropping for us, guys. We have some new content talking about the flighting update coming for MCC. We actually have a date for when that's going to be released. We're going to be containing some awesome content that I know a lot of people have really been looking forward to. So let's just jump right into it. The main thing to take away from this video, guys, is that Thursday, February 18th is the current plan for public flighting to happen for the MCC. If you want to take part in this upcoming flight, guys, which I'm sure many of you will probably want to do so, make sure you sign up for the Halo Insider program. I'll leave a link in the description down below. There you get to sign up and just kind of get your name in as possibly a, a chance to jump in and play. If you updated your hardware, make sure you update that. If you updated your Xbox since the last time you've done a flight, make sure you update in your profile as well. So let's get right into what's actually going to be a part of this flight. Now, many new News outlets have been speculating probably to a little bit too much of a degree of what this actually meant because in the previous development update guys we actually had a bit of a bit of news drop here saying that you may have a new place and way to play people were kind of interpreting this as possibly coming to the epic game store i highly doubted that and it looks like i was correct because in this recent community update from unicheck goes into talking exactly what's going on here so we have the custom game browser right here is going to be part of this flight. This is the new way to play the MCC right here. We have season six content as well. We don't really know exactly what's going to be in this season six. I would assume maybe some more Halo Online armor sets, possibly game plates, uh, new skins for your vehicles and weapons and stuff like that. That's what I would also assume. Uh, we also have a new map for Halo 3 from Halo Online. This map, I'm guessing right here, I've never seen this map. I don't remember this map from Halo Online when I did ch have a chance to play it. But if it's part of this, I mean, this would be pretty fun, freaking awesome to have a new map to hop on and play in Halo 3. Like, that would be the first time we've had new maps since, what, like 2009 for Halo 3? Like, that's pretty crazy. After doing some research, I was able to find out that this map, Waterfall, is actually some cut content from Halo Online slash El Dorito mod, if you want to look into it that way. Where it's pretty much kind of like a Tundra frozen over, like, Hydro Dam kind of thing. Uh, obviously, we don't see any flowing water in this situation right here on the screenshot, but just kind of let you know that no one's ever actually had a chance to publicly play this map yet. So I'm definitely excited to jump in and have some fun with this new map called Waterfall from Halo Online. Uh, like we mentioned in a previous video, you have an FOV slider support for all Xbox One consoles, uh, which we had back in the Halo 4 flight, and it was taken down. Now it looks like it's coming back in here, and I have a feeling it might actually stay with this one. We also have FOV slider will no longer be locked when Xbox Series X or S devices are set to 120 hertz. That's fantastic right there. Double key bindings for PC, going to be very necessary there. Mouse and keyboard support for consoles. I know I've been seeing a lot of comments in my videos talking about when that's going to happen. Well, we're getting a chance to flight that right now. And also we're going to have some advanced audio options as well as view model customization options. So here we actually get a chance to have a preview of what we're going to be expecting to see for a UI, at least for the custom game browser right here. Right now it's set up for Halo Reach custom match. It kind of shows you different options and things you can play around with right here. Uh, I do remember them saying that they are looking to do a kind of like a rollout to this feature of like rolling out to different games and stuff like that. Uh, though it's been since like September or since we've been kind of knowing about that idea of their philosophy. But since it's been so long that maybe that when this does release, it'd just be available for anyone to jump in and utilize, which would be awesome once we get some more details or once we get our hands on with this flight, guys, I guarantee I'll let you know on this channel. So it seems like all those news outlets are not exactly correct with their speculations right here about saying it's coming to the Epic Game Store. You know, the MCC team is actually a rather small team at 343. Most of the company is working on Halo Infinite, so it's more of a dedicated group of people kind of, you know, keeping MCC going while Infinite's in the oven right now cooking. 
So the new place we're going to have to play is this new map from Halo Online. And the new way to play is going to be the custom game browser, which I pretty much predicted when we first heard about this news back of last Friday. That's all the news I have for you guys right now today. So yeah, the custom game browser, some new maps from Halo Online, season six content coming in for the flight on February 18th. Mark your calendars, update your profiles in Halo Insider. And I'll catch you in the next video, guys. If you've been out of the loop for Halo for the last few days or so, check out the videos on the screen right here. I got a link to all my news and information and videos right there. So thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.